I've had a little problem at home with my pets. Four of my five pets have fallen into the pool, some of them multiple times over the past year. I was looking for an inexpensive and easy way to monitor my pets when we were home, in my home when we were out. But mostly I got one of these for the safety of my pets. For my regular viewers, I'm sure you've noticed I've been doing some different videos and I really didn't talk about that. I've just been experimenting with some different stuff, uh, some different product reviews. My channel trailer, I mentioned that I know how to do a lot of things and I've been looking for a way to share that. And thank you for bearing with me. I'll still be doing Neverwinter and some of the other video games. In fact, I have some other stuff I'm looking at, but I just thought I should take a second to explain myself. <laughs> and sorry I didn't before, especially for those of you who have been really loyal to my channel. Thank you, I appreciate that. So I found the Wise Cam, or W-Y-Z-E Cam. And I got the version two for about 20 bucks. And was hoping this would be the solution I was looking for. So, is it worth mine or not? I've had a little problem at home with my pets. Four of my five pets have fallen into the pool, some of them multiple times over the past year. And unfortunately, they've needed human help to get back out. And I'm really afraid that one of these days, one of them will fall into the water and we won't find out about it until it's too late. Nigel likes water and likes to play with the water, and sometimes gets too excited and falls in the water. Hemlock and Holly like to chase lizards and forget where they are and have accidentally leapt into the water. They don't like the water. And Juno gets excited by everything, including the squirrels, the birds, the other pets, and she forgets where she is sometimes. And in her excitement, she falls into the pool. Our pets really are a part of our family, and I would hate to have something terrible happen to one of them. Just because of a moment's inattention or because one of them were left out in the pool room while we were out. I found that this is super easy to set up. And I also wanted to take a second to mention that if you like this video, you might want to check out some of our other product reviews in our product review playlist and some of the videos in our Creative Films playlist. The Wise Cam, or W-Y-Z-E Cam, it's 1080p, high definition, with Wi-Fi support. It's labeled as an indoor cam, but I've also been using mine outdoors. This is a security or pet cam. I have mine more for a pet cam, but this is what it came with. It came in a nice small box. It has a metal plate so that you can mount it. The bottom of the camera is magnetic so when you flip it over it sticks to metal you have a small instruction manual wiring cable and a little power supply that's what was in the box along with some packaging now let's take a look at some of the features so you connect your cable to your power plug plug it in and then you plug the, plug the cable into your camera and it'll start to power up. This is nice too because when it's on the base you can swivel it. Now this particular camera is manual. It's nice because it goes up and down and side to side so you can get pretty much any angle you want. The wise instructions actually suggest you download the app and create an account before you power it up. I powered the camera up first and didn't seem to have a problem. Once your camera has power you have a little light which I can't see in the video so I won't show it to you but it will start to flash after about 20 seconds. Then you press the setup button on the back of the camera and you'll hear a voice prompt and you just follow the WISE app to finish the setup. And at least as of this recording you get to try out the fully functioning software with all its features for a couple weeks which includes saving the video to the cloud so it can be accessed remotely. It has motion detection notifications which are adjustable and can be set to scan a particular area. You can adjust your motion detection and sound activation sensitivity settings and a lot more. Another thing I thought was pretty cool was that it has night vision so I can check out our pets at night. You can also connect multiple cameras and label them for the different areas or rooms you have in place. They also transmit audio and it has a little microphone so you can listen and talk 
to unwanted guests, wanted guests, or in our case, our pets. And if you install a micro SD card, you can set it to record continuously. So if something happens, you can check it out. That's assuming they didn't take your camera too during the break-in and it's spotted. The good thing is you'll still have a 12 second clip that will be stored off site. So hopefully you'll get the images you need. The camera will also overwrite older files as it fills the card. So in effect it loops. The instructions only refer to a 32 gigabyte card. I have seen where people have used much larger cards. At least you can be assured that you can still use a 32 gigabyte if you need that much storage space. To me, the WYZE camera has a lot of features for the price. If you decide you want one of these cameras, I'll put a link in the video description where you can pick one up in an hour and a small commission at no additional cost to you. You can use multiple cameras. And the WYZE camera allows you to store full video to micro SD card, which isn't included. And if you don't want to go the subscription route, which is still pretty cheap, I hate to give prices out on a video like this because they change, but it's about $1.25 right now for one camera per month. And to be honest, I probably just go with the basic version, but even at that, they allow you to have a 12 second recording of an event as part of the basic package, which you don't pay for. So you can have it set up and it will start recording when it detects either audio or motion or both, and it will save it to the cloud for you. And then if you've had a problem, you can go back and check out your video clips. It does have a five minute cooldown though, every time it's triggered with the basic version. And some people will really feel like that's too short and it probably is. But if you don't like that, just go for the subscription. And that will allow the video to continue as long as motion is detected. And then the videos are securely uploaded to their system. And they're encrypted and they can be viewed for up to 14 days. And with the basic version, no subscription fees are required for that. You're still able to play back the videos to review the clips. One of the really cool things about this is the extra peace of mind we get from knowing that the cell phone app can be quickly accessed so we can keep an eye on our dogs and cats. So I can be hanging out with the kids playing video games or we can be watching a movie as a family and I can just take a quick glance at my phone to see that everything is okay with the cats and dogs. I really like to share cool and useful products to my friends and family in real life. I've always been that way. And I also like things that you can get for a great price. So don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out other useful products. Thanks for watching.